No bungu banga. People, remember to Yahoo me. S T A Y A F I Y A. Bill Figure Entertainment. Remember to Yahoo me. No more time. Bill Figure Entertainment. Dot C O. Dot Network. Remember check out the one fourteen. Crazy Red and the whole family. Fort Myers. No bungu banga. Remember Lakshmi Rick is also bug and the whole team. Remember now laugh. The whole team. No bungu banga. Farmers the entire Jamaica. Queens. No bungu banga. Million zillion years from now. Tell them to keep saying no bungu banga. That means no nonsense. No people. Now listen to this one. Remember this is ghetto love stories here. Not story ghetto love lesson. And this one you know when to let go. And that's not when to let go from the love. And let go of your pain. Understand? Now, let me tell you something about that, man. I I use I keep stressing. I used to work in places, right? For ten years, and within the ten years I was working there, my game was to, to talk to every female within the within the um the building. When they have inventory, I check how much female I talk to and interact for the day. Sometimes it be a hundred hundred female, or fifty or sixty female on the time. Some in the morning, some in the afternoon. Do you know that I would have talked with all of them? I would have known all their business. This is not making me a gay, this is not making me a sissy, this is not making me a pimp, just be does make me a man of knowledge of the situation. No, so within those time, I, I met female telling me that um he, he got a fight. Because you know, when each day I talk to each one, they got fight, I got some argument, some kind of disagreement. And then we have some that is the same thing over and over but they don't know when to let it go you understand so i begin to look deep into it like myself also and i in a situation where i tell a tell a tell a lady that i was with i don't want something i don't want that no more i don't want this to eat i want that i don't want you to do that and then one day the person i said it in my video attacked me with a knife now from that time i, I change up i start to do show sign Yo, yo, you go. I, I, I'm, I, I, I can't deal with this. I, I, no, you gotta know when to let it go, let it loose before it boil over to the next fire. So I'm saying in the back of my mind, if this happen again, you know what gonna happen? I might die. I might have to take something and slap the hell out of you, and then I'm all the person. You know, this is America. Police don't listen to the black man. You want the black man right? The policeman ain't gonna listen to him. Understand? Here in America, man, it's a totally different thing. That's why you gotta know when to let go. And I see this happening in the hood. And all around me, it, it, it be like one man and a woman live together. And not a month pass and they don't fight and argue. Man. If you're in a situation like that where you got to fight and argue all the time, you're dead. this is a sign for you to like, either get some therapy, you know go get, get somebody to, to oversee the problem and go check into some anger management or something from the system. You got to go through that to get that relationship fixed. You know, the, the white folks, they have a name for that. You understand? So... I noticed they, they fight and police keep coming to the house and it tons of and tons of things is happening. Yo, if I was in that shoes and you know what I do, I would be like, hell no, let me get out of here. You understand? So for the uh the people them that can watch this video and you in a relationship and you probably were asking yourself, yo, why I talk like this? Yo, Ebonics, Ebonics. So I, I I kick in the ghetto thing. The ghetto thing that I understand. So listen. Once you have to fight and argue all the time, and police have to involve your let go and go by your business. Understand? I'm not saying you're not supposed to fight, and then when you fight, you you, you don't make up. That can that's a part of a relationship. Once you keep fighting, 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 and then one day you're gonna end up hurting each other. So the best thing to do is depart from that and go by your business. You go your way. You go that way. Understand? But, but with my philosophy is the moment the moment you you have a um a, a, a police appear at the situation, man, yo, listen, man, it's time to cut that relationship up. Alright? And if you if you look within the media, um and back then in the past, uh you you notice if you were, if you were a big entertainer or a music or, or, or a movie star, you 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 will notice that um it'd be all over the TV. Our famous Mike Tyson, um, he did not want one time beefing with his girlfriend, and he was on the Caribbean. They said Mike Tyson knocked his girlfriend through the four walls. You know what I'm saying? 
And then suddenly what happened? You say she break up and go the other side. And then you have, then you have Tina Turner and Ike. And they was always keep fighting. And what happened to Ike? Tina Turner push him to the side and to come back to a new life. And then how you say how Bobby and Whitney is always in the media catching fight, catching fight, catching fight. But anytime problems happen with stars, you always notice to separate and move. And the, the, the woman might go the other way and the man might go the other way and they cut the relationship off totally. You understand? This is what really happened in in um in a in in, in a situation where you got you to pull up. You no, know, I, I I say you don't know when to let it go. You know you have to reach that that, that level. You'll be like, yo, I I got I gotta walk away from this guy. This won't put me in the prison. You understand? This is the the level of everything that um you 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 don't think of or you don't don't um you don't put your mind to know that this is old. But now you got some women, right? That be doing things to get the man locked up. They're with the man, and they want to pull. They, they, they want to um, let it go, but they don't want to let it up a peace situation. They will find ways to get the man locked up. Yeah, the man comes in, the man will cut themselves and hit themselves in the yard. Then call 911 and tell the, um, the police officer, say, yo, he hit me. And she know within her, on her damn self, the man in the hitter, she punch her own self in the eye. Some of them would cut themselves, get out of the relationship. Believe me, cut themselves and tell the cops, say, yo, you cut her. When the cops come, yo, the cops ain't gonna believe the man. The cops gonna lock the man up and say, well, okay, you cut her. Then when you go in front of the judge and she cut, you tell the judge, say, judge, I didn't cut her, she cut herself. Yo, the judge ain't gonna believe you. You understand? And these some of these psychopathic, crazy ass female be doing that. You understand? I have um witnessed these things happening. And sometimes the men they do it too, but a few men might cut themselves to blame the female. But majority of the population is the women, yeah, man. They, they do that. And if you look deep within what I'm telling you, you don't know the let go before you reach to that level. And you could see the sign. There are sign to show you. Yo, yo, this is time for me to be out. You now, back to my job. Uh, I, I, I see two there, like manager and supervisor, right? Married. And, you know, he come to work and say, yo, say, yo me and my wife keep quiet, man. He say, yo, I'm about to divorce or I said, why, man? Because yo, it keep happening over and over and over and over and over and over. You understand? So the level, at that, now I start to question the person. And the person tell me, say, yo, man, if you do not know when to stop, man, and you're gonna get yourself hurt. This is what this is this is what I'm trying to tell you. And I see this happening with like Puerto Rican women, Puerto Rican men, um, Indian men, African men, African American, Jamaican, Haiti, a lot of them. I see do not know when to pull out of the relationship or when to let go of the, the, the love. You understand? And some people hold on to their feeling, crying and let's make it up and and then last week they fight twice and this week again they fight again and they just keep fighting 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 once the fight and keep occurring man and then police have to be involved so let it go and go about your business and find someone else if you cannot fix it you'll get therapy you know what I'm fix the problem if y'all can sit down and, and work it out you'll let it go go about your business i go about mine i cop cops something involved nobody i gotta get hurt it's like the danger before i occur in a body. Remember that. So remember, go to Yahoo me S E A Y A F I Y A. D figure entertainment. Like always, I do not copy people, they copy me. And what I tell you, no bungo banga. Million zillion years from now I was in the park right here. And I just realized that the city tried to feed me. In invincible thoughts. Our thoughts are not reality, and I calculated and was it that you're trying to tell me is not reality. Reality is a low jump. Understand? And I calculate everything someone tell me. I calculate anything someone tell me. Anything you tell me, I calculate it. If I can't see with reality, you can't fool me. Yeah? That's why I tell them, no, bungu banga. So remember, the Yahoo me up. Share my videos. And join me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Like always, this is a social media way. And remember to check out my music. No bungo banga.